This video is about Office 365 video and how you might use it in the classroom. Office 365 video is like our own personal YouTube. We can use it to upload whatever we want. That might be a DVD uh, that supports our subject or it might be a presentation that we'd like to give our year 11s. As the name might suggest, Office 365 video is part of our Office 365 tenancy, along with other apps you might know about, like Outlook, the Office web apps, OneDrive, and Sites. Because of this, staff and students already have accounts, so there's no need for them to go away and make new ones. Content is arranged into channels, and each channel can be given its own rules about who can watch and who can upload content. Because Office 365 video is part of a closed educational network, we have certain exemptions which means we are allowed to co upload copyright material. And we don't have to block any of the content because we have full control over what's on there. So how can you get onto Office 365 video? Well, if you know how to get onto your school webmail, then you should be good to go. Uh, you can either get onto your school webmail via Enable School, or by a link on the website, or by simply type in outlook.office365.com into the address bar. Click on the apps icon in the top left hand corner and then select video and it will take you straight there. You should be able to do this from any browser so it should work just fine on a Mac or a PC or your school laptop. It even works on Safari on the iPad and there's also a special app that you can download to make the whole process even easier. Content within Office 365 video can be arranged into different channels. I've already created a number of these, including some for subject areas and hubs, and others for things like CPD. So you can find a channel with videos just from RTMX sessions. Here, for instance, is the Mathematics Faculty channel, full of lots of interesting content which you're all bound to want to go and see. Channel owners can decide the permissions for their channel. This includes who can upload content and who can see it. Here I'm adding the names of the various maths teachers to the editors section of the permissions, which means that they will now be able to upload video and make changes to the content within the channel. We can create different channels for different key stages or for particular groups of students. So we can decide exactly who is allowed to upload content and who is allowed to see it. Before you go ahead and make hundreds and hundreds of new channels, remember this is meant to be a video repository and not where your content is curated. We will be creating another section within Office 365 to do that a bit later on in the year. So exactly what sort of videos can we upload to Office 365 video? Well. We can upload any DVDs that the school owns a physical copy of. We can upload any TV programs that were broadcast and recorded from British television. We can upload any videos that we've created ourselves. And we can upload any videos created by the students. Some ideas for using Office 365 in the classroom might be for playing your movies and video clips on the projector for students to watch, asking students to watch a video for homework. You could use it for flip learning. Watch your presentation at home and then come to the lesson and practice the skills. Achcos or CLT could record mini assemblies and play them during tutor time. Or students can upload their own iMovie creations and video assignments directly from their iPads. Well, I hope this video has given you a few ideas about how you could use Office 365 video in the classroom. For those that are interested, I've been using uh, something called Microsoft Office Mix to make this presentation. Uh, you can download it from mix.office.com. Uh, it's just an extension to PowerPoint, so you can apply mixes to any existing PowerPoints or create a new one and, uh, and record bits onto that. There's even a handy button on the Mix ribbon which allows you to upload your finished PowerPoint presentation straight to Office 365 video. So, why don't you give it a try?